The Dragon Mind of Zen Karma While you practice the Dharma, the singular law of the One Mind, in your encounters with others, you should not judge their actions but patiently observe the unfolding of their karma and how they relate to it. Karma is a regulating force residing like a seed of equilibrium within each mind linked by interdependent origination to samsara. This serves as to draw each mind away from all extremes and towards the middle as to pave way to every mind's awakening. There is no God with the power to ultimately judge your actions without itself paying the price for such an action first by distress and later by rebirth. Every mind is ultimately its own judge and regulator. This is the nature of the law. When we speak of karma we cannot point at a certain point of a being's evolution and say, look what evil it does, it deserves the pain that has or may fall upon it. If I were to bring forth your own karma, I would be able to show you the most incredible atrocities you have committed in the name of desire, greed, fear, pride and other forms of self-ignorance. If the existence of this planet, in the time it takes for you to watch this video, would be dependent on the sincerity and purity of the majority of beings inhabiting it. You would never finish hearing even this one line because it would instantly cease to exist in a split second. When a mind master, Mahabodhisattva, reviews the mind of a lesser able it can see the myriad karmic outcomes residing in the alaya consciousness linked to this mind. When you look at another being you most probably see a person and nothing else. Thus you should be careful in judging the actions of others before you know the precise karma behind their present being and actions caused by that formation. Remember this. If this aroused set of dreams in your mind is not completely transcended, the wheel of karma continues endlessly in endless various positions and combinations, of which none is of any absolute importance to your own self despite those desires and dreams you have conditioned yourself to treasure most. Thus, the one caught in the prison of the body consciousness walks through this world as in a dream which sometimes is good and sometimes bad. The awakened and truly living, has nowhere to walk, yet carries infinity at hand, as to create freely with what is underneath all things as an unstoppable force of sheer productiveness. The wise and genuine, Zen student, defeats their full set of conditions, karma, which really means they defeat their past, present and future by transferring full allegiance from what has been created, or is about to be recreated on the diurnal wheel of karma, to the creator, the unborn mind, itself. Regards, Tarzan.